Hello students, in the today's experiment, we are going to determine the strength of a given HCl with the help of n by 10 NOH solution as a standard solution by using pH meter. Okay, in this titration, we have to determine the strength and whenever we have to determine the strength of a given sample solution, then we have to go for the titration. And for the titration, basically we require three chemicals. First is unknown, second is known and the third one is indicator. The unknown is the given sample solution, given HCl solution. Known is N by 10 NH solution. And the indicator, here we are using no indicator. In lieu of indicator, we are using pH meter. The end point of this titration, of this acid base titration is be reported at pH only 7 or at a equivalence point. Okay, now we move to the principal part. Acids are those substances which when dissolved in water releases its positive ions. And it can also be defined as the substances which have pH value less than 7. pH value of a solution can be defined as the negative logarithm of H positive ions concentration. The pH of a solution can be determined accurately with the help of pH meter. In this titration, the NOH solution is added to the HCl and the pH rises slowly at initial stages but at equivalence, equivalence point the rate of change of pH of the solution is very fast and the end point of the titration can be measured at pH only 7 by plotting a graph between the volume of NOH and the pH of a solution recorded. Okay, now we move to the procedure part of the experiment. In the procedure part, firstly switch on the pH meter and leave it for 15 minutes for calibration. And then we calibrate it with the help of buffer solutions of pH value 4 and 9.2 respectively. See, this is the pH meter which is already calibrated by the buffer solutions. And we dip the glass electrode in the 50 ml of HCl, the given sample solution. And we have to write down the reading of this, of the pH value of this acid. See, this is 1.55. So, volume of NOH added in this is 0 and then. And pH of solution recorded is 1.55. Okay, now, what we have to do? We have to add 1 ml of NOH. the solution and then and then we have to take the readings note down the reading in the observation table whenever we add this 1 ml of NUH in the sample solution now the pH of the solution is 1.85 Now we add volume of n, n by 10 NH is 1 and the reading is 1.85. Now again add one more ml of NH in the solution. Now again, take the reading of 
pH value two point five seven. Now we have to add one more analog NMH into the solution. The value of the pH is four point nine one. Add three ml of n by ten NMH. Okay, now we have to again add one more ml of n by ten NMH. In this, we have to do the same process till the neutralization process will take place, and that will be take place at pH value seven. See the reading is five point. Sorry, six point. The reading is six. The reading is five point eight. Add four ml of n by ten in it. Okay. Now add. One more ml of n by ten NH in this. And the reading is at pH value seven is eight point nine eight. C. There is a sharp growth in the pH value. It means the neutralization process takes place in between of this four to five ml of N by ten NH, which we add in the fifty ml of acid. Now add one more ml of NH in this, and take the reading. That is. Nine point seven three. Okay. Now, with the help of these links, we have to plot a graph between between the volume of NH added and the and the pH value of the solution, which we record. The volume of N by ten NH that should be placed at X axis. Why the pH of a solution recorded is to be is to be placed at a y axis. This graph, with the help of this graph, we can be able to find out the volume of NH required. That is, which we say V two for the complete neutralization of HCl from the graph at equivalence point. Equivalence point means at a pH value seven. Okay. Now we move to the Calculation part. See in this calculation part, we already noted that V two is the volume which we should, which we uh, have to calculate with the help of the graph, and the graph is plotted between the n by ten n by h, which is via x axis, and the p h value recorded, which is via y axis, and we have to take the reading this V two m n from the graph that we have to uh, take this from the graph at a p h value seven. Okay, now. For the strength, the formula of the strength is normality multiplied by equality. So first of all, we have to determine the normality, and the normality is to be calculated with the help of normality equation. Normality equation is n by one is equal to n to v two. N by one is for acid, and n to v two is for base. Here, acid normality is not given. Volume is given. That is via fifty ml. About the base, normality is one by ten, and The volume, volume V two, V two we calculate with the help of the graph. So the normality is V two over five hundred. Now the strength of unknown acid is normality multiplied by equivalent weight of XCl because the acid is XCl. Normality is V two over five hundred. Equivalent weight of XCl is thirty six point five, 
and when we multiply this 36.5 with this, then we can be able to calculate the strength of unknown asset. So this is the way to calculate the strength of a unknown asset with the help of a pH meter. And in this, we have to uh, we have to keep in mind one precaution that first of all we have to calibrate the pH meter with the help of the buffer solutions. Thank you.